What do you think YouTube can do? Because comments on YouTube, there's a lot of bad ones. What do you think YouTube can do to try to help that? They can say at the end, like always, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Censor it. Does a scanner play a Clash of Clans? Or, uh, and like, if you type something like a bad word, like the F word, it censors it. The only way you can comment on YouTube is if you have an email. You can probably track that email. They can just, like, warn them once, and then if they do it again, ban them from commenting at all. Public sites in general, you can't control it because of how many people there are there. The best thing they can do, if they can do anything at all, they could just shut the whole thing down. But that would just be sad. This is what I love doing and I would hate to see that happen, but that's really the only thing they can do. What do you think about Cheerios for actually making a commercial like this? They're brave. I'm glad they did that. Sometimes in TV, it's unrealistic. In real life, there's families of all races. They should be doing that no matter how much you know, hate they get, don't delete it. They probably knew this was gonna happen, but at least they did it. It definitely will get people mad, but eventually those people will just have, will just realize that, like, it doesn't really matter. If someone is watching this who thinks biracial parents is wrong, what would you want to say to them? You people are me! Please don't feel that way. It's really unfair to a lot of people. Just think of their heart. They could actually be very good people for all you know. For any racist, I need you to just like drop it. You might have been like taught that way. That's your parents' fault. You don't gotta do everything like exactly the way they have to. And what about anyone watching that has to deal with racism in their life or have biracial parents and people who have a hard time about that? What would you say to them? Just stay strong, broski. Sticks and stones can break my bones. The words would never hurt me. <laughs> You'll get through it. Something will happen. There are lots of people who support it. So, just ignore them. Just know that there are people that are trying to stop, you know, all the hate. I hope you get through all of this because those mean people out there, they don't deserve anything. Guys, do not care what they say. You are you. Stand proud for yourself. Be happy for your family. Tell them I don't care what you say. I am the way I am. And I don't care if I'm Korean and Asian or black. Sorry that you guys have to deal with this because it's really hard for you guys. So there you are. Because they don't want to darken their skin. 
And then bleaching soap is a big hit in Africa and Asia. Yeah. <laughs> People buy soap so they'll be turned white. It, it's putting chemicals on their bodies. Uh, so degrees of whiteness privilege in the whole world. Rich people in poor countries, poor people in poor countries, majority privilege, whatever they are. Some countries it's all black majority, right? Like South Africa, you have a minority white. So the black has the privilege. In that sense, after apartheid. <clears throat> and then human privilege over the rest of nature. And then I have a hypothetical person of all of the multiple minority complex. A poor lesbian, disabled minority woman in a poor country. All the levels of oppression with no power. Okay, that's a hypothetical case of a person who's just got nothing. If we are to let all of the uh, oppressive structures remain. for my teaching portfolio. <laughs> Thank you. I think yes, sir. And then I have, if you want to write something with your name that I can quote in my teaching portfolio, please. Thank you. 